Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for May and this is a general reading and so if you are a Gemini sun, moon or rising sign you might find something helpful here and we can get a sense of what the cards will tell us for May. Okay so we have the two of wands, we have the star major arcana, and we also have the ace of swords. So the two of wands, we see this finely dressed man standing, it looks like at the back of where he lives, and he's looking out over the water and of the mountains, and really he's uh, seeking out the vista, what's going to be the view from his life, and he's planning what that view is. And so he's holding the globe in his hand. It's like having the world in your hands. And you're thinking, what's next? Supported here by the wand. I'm looking out. I'm thinking about what will I create next? What will I manifest next? And uh, with twos, there's often choices. So there may be things that you're thinking about that if I pursue this avenue, then I might have to cut back on, you know, my soccer league or my soccer team that I play on after work. Or if I pursue this path, then I can expect, uh, you know, I can expect to make more money. But there are certainly decisions and choices to be made and things to be considered. This is a card where you are getting everything in motion. You're thinking about uh, what's next for you. Where's your journey going to head? And so you may be in the planning stage. You may be thinking about what you want to manifest. You may be thinking about the pros and cons of certain moves. So there's a sense here of really looking the big picture and, and thinking about where you where you fit in that big picture so next to uh, the two of wands we have the star and the star card is always this beautiful fabulous energy we see the woman here without clothes and she's pouring water into a little pond and also on earth and there's this really big connection here between the physical and the spiritual realm your emotional side, your really your spiritual essence and your physical body. And it's trying to find the harmony. It's trying to find some restorative and healing energies to you. The star card typically turns up after maybe things have been challenging or they've been a tough time that you're going through. We see the star card show and it's saying you know put your faith in the stars we like to wish upon a star because it gives us hope and really that's the message of the star which is to have hope to believe in the outcome to have faith in the outcome and to have faith in yourself as well and it's to find the balance within your life and to uh uh, be mindful of your emotional, your spiritual, and mental states. So, you know, there's a uh, thinking here about vulnerability because she's without clothes and she's, this is her true self. She's very much um, revealing and, and being authentic to who she is. And so, as part of this healing and having faith, it's really uh, stripping everything down to the to the level of of optimism and believing that there's a good future for you. And you can see it's just so many stars here. It's just we wish upon a falling star. We look to the stars for inspiration. With this card, I think there's a sense of um, uh, not so much of action and having to do something, but it's really 
setting your mind in a certain way and visualizing and um, being still, perhaps meditating, getting rest. But the star is a message of hope. It's a message of optimism. And this restful healing period and this thinking about the big picture for you and what's next, here's the Ace of Swords coming in, which is a gift or blessing from the universe. And it particularly gives you insight. It gives you clarity. It gives you uh, rational thinking, which is to take your ideas and perhaps toss them around and maybe something makes sense to you where it didn't before. Or maybe you have been inspired or you've been just thinking a lot about what you want to do within your career or in your private life, your personal life, your relationships and and the Ace of Swords could be a new way of thinking. It could be ideas that you're pursuing. It can be the truth of the matter for you that if you follow a certain path after you've had time to recover, uh, then you know the, the horizon is yours, but you have to be thinking about it and you have to put your smarts toward it. So when I see the Ace of Swords, I think a lot of, you know, you're, you're using your noggin and you are cutting through the extraneous uh, information that sometimes holds us back. You know, the Ace of Swords, it's, it's a matter of dialing it in, dialing it in with your logic, with your reason, with the facts versus perhaps flights of fantasy. But I see here a sense of having faith and optimism in your future and you're thinking about the future and you're going to use your smarts, your clarity, your ability to express yourself well in order to create the future that you want. So I think it's a lovely spread for Friday. It's a happy Friday kind of spread. So let's take a look at the numbers. We have two and 17. That is um, uh, 19 and 20. And that reduces to two. And two is about relationships. It's about harmony, finding balance, uh, cooperation, partnerships. And to close the reading, I'm going to choose an oracle card. And we'll get a little more meaning for this reading. The temptr temptress, seduction, deceit, a broken promise. Well, interesting, you know, these things happen and you know sometimes uh, broken promises and deceit can lead you into another direction. It can be the catalyst, it can, can send you uh, into change. And so the star card is about healing and perhaps uh, getting over a challenging time and perhaps this is related here. Seduction and maybe ideas have been seducing you. <laughs> uh, uh, broken promises. Maybe you've been hoping for something and it's just not coming to fruition and you're doing a lot of thinking here. And this is reflecting, uh, thinking of the future, the Ace of Swords, using your smarts, being smart. And the Star card is about uh, recovery to a sense. It's about healing. It's really healing your soul. So I wish you the very best for Friday the 25th. I hope it's a super day for you. If you enjoyed this reading, Please subscribe, like, share, and comment, and come back tomorrow for another reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.